My name is uh, David Saint-Jacques. I'm an astronaut for the Canadian Space Agency. I was born in Quebec City and I grew up uh, in Montreal. I had two brothers. Dad was a professor of uh, physics and mom was a history and a literature teacher and big travelers. So I spent a lot of my youth traveling uh, with my parents and uh, constantly being challenged uh, by my parents to read and learn more about, about everything. When I was a young child, uh, I saw one of those photos of the Earth seen from the Moon and uh, it really struck me as an example of adventure in the 20th century. Uh, you know, it encouraged me to stay fit, learn languages, travel, study and just grab every opportunity I could to make myself better. I started out studying engineering like my father and my grandfather before me. And I worked a couple years as an engineer and I moved on and I became an astronomer and I, I went to graduate school, did a PhD and I worked as an astrophysicist for several years and I uh, had the chance to work with teams from all around the world all in pursuit of this, this beautiful uh, study of the heavens above us. And then I moved on again and I became a, a doctor, a family doctor, and I practiced up north uh, in Nunavik, in northern Quebec. And that was a great uh, human experience for me, a nice way to kind of mix a sense of adventure and discovery while doing something really worthwhile practically of uh, being a physician and helping people stay healthy. I heard from a colleague that they were recruiting astronauts. And for me, it's as if the world stopped for a second. I could hear the voice of a little boy at the back of my head going, oh, come on, David, you gotta try, at least try. And this old souvenirs came back to me and I thought, okay, yeah, I gotta make an effort to, to apply for this process and just give it a chance. One of the main challenges in the selection process I found was that it was so long, so drawn out, a whole year of tests. It was really a challenge in and of itself to stay focused on it. And we're basically tested on anything that you can test someone on. First, medical testing, of course, flying potential, reaction to stress, teamwork, public speaking, all these varied skills that you, you kind of need to have to be a good astronaut. One of the guiding principles of my life has always been to broaden my horizon, to expand my understanding, and to maybe be able to then turn around and, and teach what I understand to the younger people. And I think as an astronaut, I have this chance to broaden my horizons to the whole planet. And that's really something I'm looking forward to, to have that consciousness practically in my soul of what the world looks like seen from outside. And I think that will help me better understand who we are as humans and the way we should lead our lives. Okay, so I have stowed the uh, new DDCU to the seat of cart. Copy. So that is secured by an adjustable on the Zenith handrail of the seat of cart.